Hello promoters and welcome to the Solo Promoter YouTube channel. Uh, this is an idea I had for um, quite some time and I'm finally doing it and I hope you enjoy it and I hope it doesn't uh, it's not going to cause any <clears throat> controversy, um, but uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of a tier list. This, what you see on the screen, is a tier list, and it is a way to rank things. And uh, the way it works is you have uh, superior, so anything you put up here is superior, and then you have uh, basically like letter grades, A, B, C, D, and F. Um, so that is what this is. This is a tier list. And today, we are going to be ranking the original 24 uh, Champions of the Galaxy characters from the 2087 set. Now, I will say from the outset, this is my opinion and my opinion only. Uh, so I'm sure you're going to disagree with me and I'm sure that's, you know, that's fine. You can disagree with me. Now, um, usually with tier lists, uh, there's no rules. You just kind of do what you have to do. Um, but I'm kind of implementing a little rule for myself. And that rule is that I have to put someone up here as superior, and it can only be one name. And then I have to at least uh, give one person an F. So we'll have my favorite card from the set, and we will have my least favorite card from the set, and then everything else will, will rank in between. I don't know. I haven't given this much thought, so I'm going to go through it right now uh, while you watch. Um, and... Um, Please feel free to tell me where I am completely wrong uh, in these rankings down below. Now, I was thinking about doing this with uh, the legend sets, and I may actually do this with the legend set. Um, but what weird things have happened before is that, uh, you know, in doing my Hollywood Elite Wrestling, I will put the names of the wrestlers in there, and a couple of wrestlers have actually found my videos um so i didn't want to try and hurt anybody's feelings that way um by you know ranking somebody really low so i thought i it would be safe to start with uh champions of the galaxy now uh these um are kind of listed in a random order here you'll see i'll, I'll pop them up on the screen and uh and then i'll shrink them down because they're going to pop up it's going to be uh their headshot and then i'll shrink it down and then i'll place them and maybe uh talk a little bit about them all right we've got 24 we got to get going and the first one we are starting with is star warrior let me make sure this is locked. There we go. So we can get... Uh, so Star Warrior is going to be the first one. Now, I will say Star Warrior is not my... Uh, Star Warrior is not going to be in my superior list. And actually, uh, even though he was one of my first champions, uh, you can see some of my other videos where I talk about my first year of uh, Champions of the Galaxy. Um he was never really a super favorite of mine. Um, so let's see. And and here's the other thing is when you put things on the list, you can kind of adjust them a little bit too. Um, and But at the very end, I will say that this is my, my final thing. I, you know, I'm going to say Star Warrior. I'm, I'm going back and forth between B and C. Uh, he's not the worst. And, I, and this is, all, again, all my opinion, what I think of the character. He is not the worst. Um, I'm going to actually start him off with a C right in the middle. Uh, now, as I said, these things might be able to uh, change uh, later on, but that's where I'm going to put him for right now. Uh, this next one might get a little controversy as well because it is going to be Wolf. And uh, let's see, where am I going to put Wolf? Another one, you know, I might, my initial thought is to put him right here next to Star Warrior. Uh, just sort of not my favorite character, um, not horrible. Um, and, and again, I may move this one around. I think, if I'm to be honest, I did like him a little bit better than Star Warrior. So uh, for right now, we'll do that. We'll put we'll put Wolf up at a B. Um, yeah, these are not ever going to be correct correctly sized, but uh, we'll we'll make it happen. So Star Warrior Wolf uh, Vanity is our next one, and Vanity. 
what can you say about vanity? Vanity is vanity and didn't make a ton of big waves. Um, I did have a little bit of fun with him later on, but I'm kind of I'm kind of ranking this uh, just from the first year and my first experiences with um, the characters and. Uh, I'm trying to compare him to the two that are already up there. I definitely liked Wolf better. I would say he's on level with Star Warrior. I may adjust that a little bit. Um, I, I may adjust that a little bit, but uh, we shall see. All right, this next one, Thanos, uh, the evil game master. Let's see. What do I think of Thanos? Um... Definitely. You know what? I'm going to say Thanos was an A. He's not probably get some people mad at me. I'm not going to put him up at superior uh, just yet. Maybe he'll get up there. Uh, but uh, definitely compared to everyone else on the list, I like him better um, than everybody else on the list. Uh, but we still got uh, a lot to go. So uh, the next one is Proteus. And I'll tell you, my initial thing, even though the Greek gods were um, sort of, you know, they did sort of well in in, in my Fed in the early years, uh, I was never, I was never a huge fan of Proteus. Wolf and Proteus actually, no, it wasn't Wolf and Proteus, it was Wolf and Actagon. So Proteus was just kind of, eh, middle of the road. Uh, I'm going to put him up at C as well. There's probably going to be a lot of people in this C category. Um, but I'll start him out there. He may he may actually go down because he was just never really... You know what? I am gonna, I'm just going to bite the bullet and I'm going to say I'm going to put him down in D. Uh, at, least for, at least for right now. All right. Next, uh, we have... Did I just delete that? I hope not. Uh, we have Pit Viper... And let's see, where are we going to put Pit Viper? Another kind of middle of the road guy to me didn't get interesting till later. Um, hmm, you know what? I, my initial, uh, he wasn't that bad. My initial thing is to put him down on D with Proteus. Um, but then I'm thinking like, eh, he wasn't that I could kind of see him on the same level as Vanity and Star Warrior. So I'll put him I'll put him up on C for now, but he's one who might get a little bit of a downgrade. Um all right, coming up next, let me see uh on my list here who is up next. And up next is none other than Pulsar. Pulsar again, another sort of middle of the road type guy i might put him down with proteus for sure i liked pit viper pit viper to me had a little bit more story potential than pulsar did so i'm gonna put pulsar down uh with proteus uh down there uh executioner again not one of my absolute favorite guys um you know did okay you know was sort of an undercard guy um yeah i'm gonna my i'm kind of going with my initial thoughts here on on each of these characters uh and we may do some some tinkering around we haven't got to somebody who i was like ah oh, this is a this is a horrible card we haven't gotten there yet um but it may happen i'm trying not to think ahead too i'm trying to just kind of do this as it comes to me in uh in my head uh so the next one we have to add is commander sam and i'll say i i really liked commander sam uh, especially here in these this this early set, um, you know, I I'm gonna put him up. My initial thought is to put him up on B with Wolf. Uh, that's where I see him going, Commander Sam. Uh, I think that's that's solid because I really liked him and I really liked the character, uh, especially in those early days. Even though he was like you know past his prime a little bit, uh, I did I did kind of like him. Uh, next we have the wild man renegade and I liked this card. I just liked, I just liked the idea of like, almost like a ultimate warrior type. That's kind of how I saw him was like, he was just like crazy and insane. 
Uh, I'll put him up on A. I'll give him an A um uh there with Thanos because he was somebody who I don't know I just like the character I, I love the idea of him just being a just this insane maniac uh I thought that was a lot of fun so um yeah I will I will I'm conf- I'm putting Renegade there for now he may slip down to a B but I'll put him there for right now uh mutant I liked this character I like this character a lot I he you know couldn't buy a win. Um, I'm going to put him up on B for right now, just because I thought, I always thought his storyline, uh, possibilities were, were pretty great. So, um, he is somebody I will put up on B for now. It is, he might slip down to a C, but I don't think so. I I really liked, as I said, his storyline potential. So, uh, I will put him there. All right. Next we have Beast Rider and... I didn't like Beast Rider. I didn't like Beast Rider. Beast Rider is actually a candidate for F, but for now, I'm going to put him uh, on a D because he was just not somebody who I really connected with as a character. Um, he was fine. Whatever. Whatever. I, you know, don't, don't, uh, what do they say? Don't at me. Uh, Omega, another person who just the card never really did anything for me. I liked him better when he became a manager. Um, oof. You know what? He might be my first F. Just because the card didn't do much. Nothing against the character. Uh, as I said, I loved him when he became a manager. Uh, that may change. That may change. That's a that's a big that's a big name to put as an F. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna start it there and we'll see what happens. Uh, coming up next is Lord Nexus, a solid character. Really like Lord Nexus. Uh, if I'm speaking current twenty one thirty eight, I I feel maybe he's been around a little bit long. Um, uh, and I assume he'll be around in in twenty one thirty nine because of Titan Power and whatever Titan Power storyline is. Um, I'll put him at a C for now. He is someone also who may get a bit of a... a, uh, I liked him, but not a B. Not a B. He wasn't a B for me. Um, But uh, there you go. Here we go. Death Knight, another character I really liked. uh, Not Pete Beck levels of liking. Um, but I thought could do a lot with and just f- kind of fun storylines. Um, I'm going to start him out as a C. He is someone who may move up. Uh, I'm kind of debating. If the, if the C field gets a little too crowded, I may pop him up one just because he was a fun guy to do storylines with. Uh, next is Massive, another guy who I don't think should be around. In It's funny. I don't. I don't mind Con- Commander Sam being around in 2138, but it's like Massive. I think just because of storyline involvement, Massive has just been around for so much and doing the uh, commissioner thing and all that and the referee thing. So I, I like how when you minimize him, it's just sort of his face. Um, yeah, he's... I'm going to put him in D. That's my first instinct. And I'm going my first instincts here. Things may change, but that's where I'm going to put him. Uh, All right, Genghis Khan, another guy I really liked. I really had a lot of fun with. Uh, Thought he was great. He's Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put him on C, and I'm going to move Death Knight up. Uh, That might, I don't know, that might change, but that's what I'm going to do for right now. Uh, Here we go. Here we go. I hope you're strapped in. Uh, massacre. Massacre, massacre, massacre. I'm going to give Massacre a B, actually. Solid card. Liked the Gladiators. Always liked the Gladiators, but I'm going to put them as a B right now. Uh, yeah, I'm confident with that. I'm confident with his B. That's a, he's a solid B. Uh, here's a, a really fun guy that I liked, um, and my my instinct is another, uh, I'm going to say Kraken, because that's how I'm going to say it, and you can say Kraken, and we can all get along and still be friends, um, but probably not, because people take that really seriously. Uh, a B, solid B, um, 
another character I really, really liked. But yeah, B. The B field is getting a little crowded there. Um, and it might get even more crowded right now because Exo King. You know what? No, my first instinct actually is Exo King is an A. Uh, because I really liked I really liked the character. Not an enormous fan of uh, I don't mind the character of Exo King, who's in 2138 now, but I just don't think he should have the name Exo King. I think, um, I don't know. I whenever it's like, oh, he's using the same name, uh, it's just it doesn't it doesn't do it for me. So I will put Exo King as an A. I loved Exo King. I liked. Uh, I believe he was champion my first year. Somebody I pushed. Uh, not he wasn't the first champion, but he was a champion. Um, and, uh, so I enjoyed him. Here we go. Actagon. My initial thought with Actagon is put him up in superior. And, and here's the thing. Not when I first went through the cards, my favorite character, uh, based on art and stats, but somebody who through playing the game really did an amazing job. And now that I'm saying this, I think the tag team of Wolf and Proteus was the tag team that did really well for me because Actagon was Galaxian champ. And I even think at one of the Galacticals, I think I won. I don't have that trophy down here, but I think I won uh, the whole tournament with Actagon with his original card. So he's going to go to Superior right now. Uh, that may change, but because uh, remember, I only get one at Superior and one in F. And right now, like when I first thought about doing this, I was like, oh, Actagon's going to be at the top. Again, simply because how the card did in my Fed. No other reason. Uh, and it was just somebody who I kind of got behind. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so there we go. Uh, who is next? We have Killer Queen. Dynamite with a laser beam. Um, hmm. Killer Queen was okay. My initial thought is to put at a C. Not quite a B. Uh, I'm just trying to think if I liked... I may actually swap the... No, no, I like this. I like this, how it, how it is right here. Killer Queen, C. Middle of the road kind of character. Enjoyed, didn't hate, anything like that. Uh, here's another one who will be just the face when we minimize this. Uh, Brute. And this might surprise people, especially for being the first set. Uh, Brute is going to go up on A. I just, I liked Brute. He was my favorite out of the two. I know a lot of people liked Massacre, uh, but I just liked the idea of this big, hulking, uh, you know, just big, giant guy. So I'm going to say he's my A gladiator. Uh, for sure. And I think this is, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Our final person here is Comrade Terror. And, hmm, I liked Comrade Terror. I liked his feud. This is not where I'm putting him. I'll put him over here. Uh, I liked his feud with Commander Sam. I thought I wish he would. He was he was somebody who I wished would win more. Um, I am going to put Comrade Terror as a B. He will be my B ranking, uh, or on on B right there. Um, so let me just go over this and double check here. Uh, Actagon, still, I'm really confident with Actagon as my superior card from 2087. Um, and again, just because of gameplay. Uh, Thanos, Renegade. Now, see, I'm double guess. I'm double, uh, uh, what do you call it? I'm second guessing Renegade here. Exo King, yes. Brute, yes. Renegade. I'm just seeing if there was anybody from B I would move up, and I don't think there is. So I'm going to leave Renegade there. B is Wolf, Commander Sam, Mutant, Death Knight, Massacre. Is Massacre someone I would... No, no, because I liked Brute more than Massacre. Uh, Kraken, Kraken, Crickety Crack, Kraken. Uh, Comrade Terror, C, Star Warrior, yeah. 
Uh, Vanity, mm-hmm. Pit Viper, yeah. Lord Nexus, yes. Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan, I actually feel like moving up. Is there anybody who I would move down? Hmm. Not that there's any rule about that, but you know what? I think I am going to move him up to B. Because he was just a, I don't know, it was just an interesting character to me. This guy out of time in the future. Uh, and then Vanity, that's good. Because again, I said I really liked Vanity later on uh, when he was teaming with Mr. Galaxy. Uh, Proteus, yeah. Pulsar, yeah. Executioner, yeah. Beast Rider, yeah. Massive. Massive is somebody who maybe I would move up. I'm just trying to see if I liked... No, I, I see kind of them all the same. And then I'm sorry... I'm sorry, Omega, Omega is, is is out of the original 24. Um, Omega is the card at the bottom. Uh, and I think, I think I'm going to finalize this, and I think I'm going to stand by it. And uh, I would love to know what you think. Uh, let me know your comments on this down below. Tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me where I'm right. And tell me which set you would like me to do this for next. It can be... It can be Legends. It can be Champions of the Galaxy. Uh, like if you want me to do the 2138 set or um, anything, if, as long as I have the set online, I will do that. And uh, that's it. All right. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for telling a friend. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.